Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be building a school and a living area for the teachers, I guess. Now the school is already built. It's going to be this sanctuary house right here. I scrapped the existing one and built this one. The reason why I went ahead and built this without showing you guys is because you've seen me do this a few times. So if you're new to my channel or haven't seen the videos where I build a house like this, I'll have a link to my most recent one in the description. Now, I chose to build a school for a couple of reasons. One, I had several people ask me to, which I'm not exaggerating this time just so I sound more popular. I really did have a lot of people ask. Look, see? Not lying. And thank you all for your suggestions. I hope you like the way that it comes out. The second reason is that it just makes sense. We are rebuilding the Commonwealth, which means we are repopulating the Commonwealth, yeah? A lot of post-apocalyptic doing it, which means there's going to be a bunch of kids running around. And uh, if there's any kids watching and I just ruined how life works for you, I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I, could, I could try to do better. Like, When a man and woman love each other, they find ways to express that love by, you know, doing the hokey pokey, right? Playing some Dungeons and Dragons, yeah? Playing, playing hide the cannoli. Okay, I'm done. What, what, what am I doing? Fallout 4, yes. So this is the school. We're just going to get right back into it. So the cafeteria is going to be over here. And in this room is going to be the daycare area. I just popped these walls up in the corner. Nothing too special. Over here in the hallway, uh, the room to the left, this is going to be the elementary school room. So like, like middle school and like, I don't know, preteens, just young people. Okay, young people are going to be in here. And uh, over in the next room, this is going to be high school and up. So like if any adults who want to take classes, they can. It's going to look pretty cool. And I couldn't find a spot on the inside for a bathroom, so I just built an extension into the garage, and I think it worked out pretty well. Okay, now to build the living area. I scrapped the garage and just snapped some concrete foundations to the side of the house. That wall there is for the school bathroom, but we're just going to build around it. So for the house walls, I'm going to use a mod called Settlement Objects Expanded, which is available for Xbox and PC. If you don't have access or want to use this mod, you can use any kind of wall you want. I'm going to be using the walls under the U.S. Constitution tab. They look very similar to the wood walls we got with Snap and Build, which is not available anymore, by the way. Since I switched to PC, I don't have access to it. So if you have it, don't delete it because you won't be able to get it back. Alright, I placed down the floors and am putting up an upper floor since this will be two stories. For the stairs, I'm going to use a mod called G2M Workshop. It's an excellent mod available for Xbox and PC. We get these really cool looking staircases that snap in just about anywhere. And, and again, if you don't have access to this mod, there are ways to build this kind of staircase. Just use small wood or scaffolding ladders and snap a half floor between them. If you can't get it to look right, I will be demonstrating that in my next video, so sit tight. I hate using mods that my viewers who are on PS4 can't use, but let's be honest, that's like 90% of them. So I'm going to try to mix up how I build in these next few videos. That way you guys can see the workaround of not having these mods. Alright, so the upper floor is done. I'm using half floors on the ends because I'm going to build balconies on both sides. So let's put up the rest of the walls. Back in the USS Constitution tab, the only problem with these walls is that the ones with windows are the size of warehouse or barn walls, so they're a little bit taller, and the door frames they give us are the size of normal walls. So they, you know, if you use both, like I'm doing here, there's going to be an inevitable gap. But that's okay, because with a little bit of thinking outside the box, and just a splash of fuckery, we can make it work. Before I put in the roof and fix the gaps, I'm just going to finish up with the downstairs real quick. Oh, and I need to put in the foundation under the floor. Just a second. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put in the roof. I went ahead and snapped in a wall to the side of the stairs right there, and also a small door frame that we get from the mod Thematic and Practical. We should have had those from the beginning, but don't get me started on that. So for the roof, we're going to use the larger wood pieces, and we want them to snap to the top of the taller wall. I mean, these pieces look great on the outside, but they are pretty thin, and a lot of light shows through them on the inside. So to fix that, and to fix the gap in the walls, all you have to do is get a floor piece. I like to use the ones from the warehouse tab, and snap those to the top of the shorter walls. That way, they're directly underneath the roof that we just put up. And you see, they block out the light and cover up the gaps. For the balconies, I'm going to use this roof that we get from G2M Workshop that is absolutely perfect for it. I mean, look at it. It looks great. 
And now everything else is pretty simple. I'm just going to put in some posts, then railings, and I'm not showing this, but I'm doing the exact same thing on the back side of the house with the other balcony. But the last thing that I want to show you is putting in this wall. I really like the cloth hanging from it, but I don't want it to stick out on the outside like an outer cap. Basically, I need it to face the other way, and oddly enough, it does it on the left side with no problem. Look, it just popped right on in. But I want it on the right side. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but damn it, it's the principle of it. I want it on the right. So if I remove the post, I can get the wall on the right to snap to the wall on the left, and there we go. Now I'm just going to put everything back together. The best tip that I can give you guys on how to get things to do what you want is figure out how things snap to each other. What I did there was a good example. Even though I didn't know why the wall on the left was snapping in, I knew that another wall just like that one was snapped to it the way that I wanted. So I left it in, removed the posts and other things that might be blocking the snap points, and then it worked. Then I was able to put everything else back in. But that is it for the build. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I did finish decorating everything, as you can see, so definitely stick around for the tour. And who do we have in here? Preston, my man, what's up? What are we learning? How to not be annoying 101. That is an excellent class. Hey, fucko, turn around and pay attention. It'll do you some good. There you go. Now sit down and shut the hell up. I'll come get you when you learn a thing or two. But anyways, let's leave Preston to his studies. Thanks for watching. Now here's the tour.
Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.